Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're working on the try questions from the Need Code Roadmap. So first let's start off by looking at a diagram of a try. So this is a try data structure, and try data structures are often used to represent words or strings composed of different characters. So here the try looks very similar to a tree, as in we start off with a root node. The root node has different branches representing the characters that it can take at this point. So we can start off the string with the character A or the character D. So if we chose to start off with the character A, then we have to go down to N. There's only one option here. And then at the node N, we have two different options. We can go D or we can go T. So if we go D, the blue circle represents the end of a word or a string. So it'll be the word and. If we chose T, then it would be the word ant. So on the other side, had we chosen D to start off our string, we have two options, A and O. If we went to O, we'll form the word do. If we went to A, then we have to go down to D because there's only one option here to form the word dad. So this is the try data structure at a very high level, and let's move on to start implementing it. So this question, implement try. A try or a prefix tree is a data structure used to effectively store and retrieve keys in a data set of strings. So we need different applications of this data structure, such as autocompletes or spell checkers. So for this question, we want to initialize a try, insert words into the try, search, search for words inside the try, and search for words that start with a certain prefix. So the key difference between search and starts with is that search needs the word exactly to be in the try, but starts with can have the prefix in the try and will return true. So looking at the diagram here, if we search for the word and, we'll return true, but if we search for the word an, it'll return false because this node here is green, it's not the end of a word. But if we searched start with instead of search, an would return true because there is this prefix an inside the try. So let's start with implementing. First, for every try, we need try nodes. So it's the colorful nodes we saw in the previous diagram. So class try node. We're going to create an init function for this. So in a try node, it usually has two different elements. One element is the children. So the different options or characters we can take at the current point. So children is rep often represented with a dictionary in Python. So we can map the character to the next child node. And we also have the self.word. So self.word represents that the try ends here and we have a word. For example, the blue nodes here, the word would be and, ant, dad, and do. But all the green nodes would have the word be an empty, empty string to indicate that the word doesn't end here just yet. So to start off the try initting it, we need to create a root. So self.root equals to an empty try node. So to insert different words, we're going to first create a copy of the root. So cur equals to self.root and then traverse down this cur. So for character in Word, we want to insert the character the word a character at a time. So for character in word, cur equals to cur.children. So children remember is the map at cur. Sorry, at char. However, we don't know if char actually exists inside this dictionary yet. So we're going to use a function called set default. So what set default does is it checks if char exists as a key, if it doesn't, we're going to create this key and then it, the key will map to an empty try node. So just like that. And after we're done traversing the entire word, so for every character in word, we're going to set cur's word to be equal to the word here to indicate that the word ends. So next off, we're going to search. So search should only return true if the whole word exists in the try, not just the prefix. So to do this, again, we're going to create a copy of the root and then search it character by character. So for char in word, so if character is not in word, so not in cur.children.keys, so keys is the keys of the map. So if there's no character, such character present, we're going to return false immediately. So otherwise, cur equals to cur.children, add to the character. So in the end, we can just return cur.word is not equal to empty string. 
So if it's not equal to empty string, that means that there's a whole word and it ends right there. So we're going to return that. So it starts with is very similar. We can just do the same thing as search. The only difference is actually what we return. So we'll see in a second. So for char in word, if char not in cur dot children dot keys, return false just like before, and cur equals to cur dot children at the character char. So here we just want to return true because we don't care whether or not the word ends here. We care as long as we filled, fulfilled every character in the prefix. So we can just return true after we're done iterating every word in the prefix. This should be prefix, not word. Oh, I missed an underscore here. So let's try running that. Cool, it's accepted. So this question is very simple, fairly straightforward. We're just implementing the basic try structure that we saw in the diagram before. So with that out of the way, let's look at a more complicated question. So design, add, and search words data structure. So in this question here, we're designing a data structure that supports adding new words and finding if a string matches any previously added string. So we have the word dictionary class initialize the object, add words, and also search for words. So the tricky part to this question is the search here, because we want to return true if any string in the data structure that matches word or false otherwise. However, word can contain dots. So dots are like wildcard characters where they can match with be matched with any other letter. So let's look at the example here. First, we added the word bad, we added the word dad, and then mad. So we're searching for pad. Pad doesn't exist, so we return false. We're searching for the word bad, that does exist, so we return true. Then we're searching for anything ad, so we have bad and also dad, so that should return true. Then we're searching for b anything anything, so a three letter word that starts with b. And we have that, we have bad, so that returns true as well. So this question still takes advantage of the try data structure, except we have to slightly modify the search function to accommodate for these wildcard characters. So like any other try question, let's start off Oops. Let's start off by creating the try node. So class try node dev init self. So self dot children equals to a dictionary and self dot word equals to nothing. So we're gonna start off by creating a try node root again. So add word is exactly the same as the previous question, so let's just quickly do that dot root for char in word cur equals to cur dot children dot set default char try node so we're setting it to try node if char doesn't exist other after that we're going to set cur dot word equal to word so search here we need to so whenever we have this wildcard character dot, what we're going to do is we need to search the rest of the word, but also match this dot character to every single child in the current node. So to do that, we need an, a reference to the current node as well as the remaining characters. So because we need those two attributes, let's create our helper function, which takes in those as parameters. So def, let's call that search all, search all. So it takes in the current node, let's call that cur, and also the word. So this is the remaining word after we clear this wildcard character. So for i char in enumerate enumerate word, if the character equals to the wildcard character, what we're going to do is we're going to have to try every single node, sorry, every single child in the node's children. So for node in cur dot children dot values. So we're checking all the nodes that are the children of the current node. So we want to try searching all of them. So search if search all node and also word at i plus one. So we're basically skipping this wildcard character and moving on to the next. So in the case of dot ad, we're gonna just search ad. That's why we're doing word of substring i plus one all the way to the end so if we can find it from search all we're going to return true so if we can't 
to find a matching after searching all of them, we're going to return false. So if the character is not a wildcard character, well, that's pretty simple. We can just do what we did before. So char if char is not in keys, we're going to return false. Otherwise, we're going to move to that key. So cur equals to cur dot children add to the character char. And after that, we can just return if we found the end or not. So return cur dot uh, word is not equal to the empty string. So if it's not empty equal to the empty string, we found a word matching. So after that, we can just call our function that we defined. So return search all. We're going to start with the root, so self.root, and we're going to search the whole entire word, word. Oh, we missed the brackets here for try node. Let's try running that. Submit it. So this question is very similar to the previous question. We only had to do a modification with the search in that whenever we encountered a wildcard character, we have to try all the children nodes instead of just one. So moving on to the next question, word search two. So given a m by n board of characters and a list of string words, we want to return all the words on the board. So basically a typical word search, each word must be constructed from letters in sequentially adjacent cells where adjacent cells are horizontally or vertically neighboring. The same letter cell may not be used more than once in a word. So it's like the word search you would do in elementary school, except the words can actually turn in this case. So for example, if we're looking for oath, pee, eat, and rain, we have found oath. Oath is not in a straight line, instead it's like in this L shape. And we also found eat. Eat is going backwards from right to left, E-A-T. So we cannot find the word P because there's no letter P. We can't find rain because R is not connected to I. So we only found eat and oath, and we're gonna return that as the output. So in the example two, we're looking for A, B, C, B, but there's only a one B, and the question stated that each character can only be used once. So we can't find any words that have two Bs in it, so we're gonna return nothing. So this question, again, is a try question because we're looking for words and we're searching if they exist. Instead, we're searching with a DFS function this time, so we're gonna traverse the entire grid and look for words as long as they exist in the try. So let's start by creating a try node, just like any other try question. So class try node, def init self self dot children equals to a dictionary and self dot word equals to an empty word. So let's create a root. So root should just be a try node that is empty. After that, we're going to have to insert all the words into the try node. So we've done that before. So for word, for words, we're going to need the current character, sorry, the current node, a copy of root. So cur equals to root. For char in word, let's iterate the entire word. Cur equals to cur dot children dot set default char and try node. So again, we're moving to the char index, sorry, the char key, if it exists, otherwise we're making a new try node. Then we're setting the curves word to be the word we're inserting. So in this question, we can have a answer. So normally we'll have the answer be an array, but in this case, it's possible that we've found more than one copies of a word. For example, if this A here is an O, then there's gonna be two oaths. So we want to have the answer be a set, so we only include one copy of it in the answer. So then we're going to do a DFS function. So def DFS node, we're gonna need a, the try node, the board, the row, and the column. So we're gonna see how to call that later. First, let's actually traverse the entire grid to look for ones that can start the word. So for example, the start words are O, start characters are O, P, E, and R. So we're gonna look for those. So for I in range len board, for J in range len board zero. So the length of the first row in board. We're going to check if board I, J equals is in 
root.children.keys. So we're checking if this character in the board is actually a valid start character for a string. So if it is, we're going to run our DFS function. So DFS root.children and the character, so board i j, board i j. So we're passing in all these parameters for our DFS function. So what this DFS function is going to do is it's going to check if the current node is a end node. So if node.word is not equal to the empty string, so this is actually a valid word in the word list. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that to the answer. So ands.add node.word. So now we're going to store the letter that the current board RC, so the current row and column represent. So board RC. And then we're going to set this character here, board RC, to be something that is not in any word because we can't use this letter more than once. It's possible we cycle back and use, for example, this O. So we don't want to cycle back and use it. So we're going to set this to a character that doesn't exist in any word. So in this case, we're choosing the underscore character. So now we need to check all of its four neighbors. There's the top neighbor, left neighbor, right neighbor, and bottom neighbor. So we're going to need a directions uh, array. So let's create the directions array. So we can we can have the row go back one, the column not change, or the row move down one, column not change, the column, the row not change, and then have the column go back one, or we can have the row not change and the column move forward one. So these are four directions we can take. So for dr, so the dr is the change in row, dc is the change in column, in directions, dr plus equals to the current row, and dc plus equals to the current column. So we've updated, this is the four different directions we can take. So if zero is less than equal to dr is less than equal to, is less than len board, and we're just checking that dr and dc are actually valid coordinates inside this grid. So zero is less than equal to dc is less than len board zero. So, and also this has to be a valid child of the current node. So and board dr dc is in node.children.keys. Let's give us a bit more space here. So if this is valid, we can do a DFS on node.children at this board key. So board dr dc has in the other parameters, board dr and dc. So after that, remember, we have to convert the board letter back to the original letter. We can't keep it to be an underscore forever because other words might also use this. So board RC, this is going to be letter once again. So now this DFS should traverse the entire grid looking for all the neighbors that are possible next letters for the word we're searching for. So after, and then once it encounters a node that is not a null string. That means we found a word in the word string and we can add that to our answer. So our answer, it wants a list instead of a set. So we're gonna convert that. So convert our answer in, back into the list and return that. Let's try running it. Directions. Oh, it should be yeah, directions. Cool. So let's submit it. So this question is again a try question. We're taking advantage of the try because we only want to search for neighbors. Nice, that's accepted. We only want to search for neighbors in of certain cells if that neighbor actually exists inside of our try as a possible next letter. So in this case, with the try, we eliminate a lot of possibilities right off the bat. We don't want to search too much in DFS. So I think that's it for the try questions. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you were able to learn something, and I'll see you in the next video.